Where have you been? Where have you been, Peter? I've been up half the night looking for you. I've rang you a million times. Where have you been? Around. I've been around. Around? Here and there, all right? We need to get you to the medical centre. What for? Because you've been drinking. And? So what? And you don't know what damage you've done to yourself. Look, it was one blowout, Carla. One. Don't you worry. You're not going to drive me back to full-time drinking. Not when I've got a son. This is your fault. You did this. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Peter... What's that? Is that blood? Peter, what's happened? I'm just... fine. I don't know. I put that top on the pile of washing because I didn't know which setting to use because of the blood. Whose blood was it? I don't know. It wasn't mine. Peter, where are you going? I'm knackered. I'm gonna have a shower and a kip. I am worried about you. No, 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 no. No, you don't do that anymore. What? You don't worry about me. You lost that privilege when you dropped your knickers for Adam. <laughs> What's wrong? Is that too harsh? Well, I don't care, same as you didn't care when you were with him. You killed us. I will not give up on you. You already did. Please, Peter, let me fix this. OK, I can fix it. I, I know I hurt you. I'll never forgive myself for that. Then don't expect me to. Please, Peter, we belong together, me and you. Please don't end it like this. It's not like this. Fair. Feeling any better? Can I make you something to eat? I presume you've not had anything. Listen, I don't exactly know what happened, but apparently Adam's in the hospital. They found him laid out in the bistro. Somebody's clocked him, apparently. Right. They don't know who. Oh, too many candidates, eh? Where are you going? Out. Why? Where? It's nothing to do with you, where? Was it Adam's blood on your top? You what? It's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? I mean, you go missing all night, Adam's attacked, and then you turn up with blood on your top, and it's not even your blood. You seriously think I would put Adam in hospital? No. You do, don't you? No, not deliberately. Just... Peter, you were drunk. You could have bumped into it and done something stupid and not even remembered. Oh, I remember everything from last night. Everything. So whose blood was it? Some guy up on the red wreck. Some guy? Drunk guy. OK, does he have a name? Oh, yeah, we introduced ourselves. We exchanged business cards. His name was the same as mine, mate. All right, mate, not so bad, mate. And it was his blood. He had a bottle, he fell over and he cut his hand open and I helped him, and that's where the blood came from. All right. So you didn't see Adam at all? No. It's a bad time, Mr Barlow. 